Welcome, fans of the RPG Show, to our newest segment, RPGology, where we will talk about the lore and the mythology and the source material behind a lot of the uh, characters or items or just ideas that are expressed in a lot of tabletop and video game RPGs. Oh, oh, can I be the co-host? I have always, always wanted to be a co-host and share some of my knowledge with people. I guess you can be the co-host. You're not gonna tell them anything stupid, are you? Absolutely not. I'll just stick to the facts. Especially if we talk about World of Warcraft. Did you know that it is a fact that 10 million people play World of Warcraft because Chuck Norris allows them to live? I know this because I saw it on TV, and everything on TV is true. Anyway, let's go on to our first uh, item of discussion. Today on RPGology, we're going to talk about the source material behind the Chocobos featured in the Final Fantasy series. It's actually a really interesting story on how they came about and what material has inspired the Chocobo. There are a lot of different suggestions people have made for what inspired Chocobos, but there's very little official information from Square Enix on the inspiration behind the creation of the Chocobos. It's known that Chocobos were invented by Koichi Ishii for Final Fantasy II. In an interview in 2007, Horomichi Tanaka, then Vice President of Square Enix, said that Koichi Ishii came up with the concept of the Chocobo and even drew the first rough sketch. The inspiration may have been Kyo-Ro-chan, a cartoon bird used in commercials for chocolate ball candy sold in Japan called the Choco Ball, which is also, ironically, the name of an attack Chocobo sometimes use in the games. The cartoon bird also says Kui in the commercials, like the Chocobos do. There's even a Sawney scenes in these commercials. Anyway, the name Chocobo is derived from the name of the chocolate balls. That much is pretty clear. But the story behind the Chocobo does not end there. In the Final Fantasy games, the Chocobo doesn't at all resemble the character used in the commercials. And in the games, he uses a mount, like a horse. Where did this idea for a bird mount come from? Well, some of you may be surprised to learn bird mounts were used a few times in prior stories. One obvious possibility is Chocobos were inspired by the horse claws from Heyu Miyazaki's manga Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, which started publication in 1982. Interestingly enough, there was also an arcade game named Joust released that same year by a company named Williams Electronics. In that game, a knight rides on an ostrich and jousts against enemy knights. Joust was primarily designed by John Newcomer, who was a fan of fantasy and mythology. Newcomer decided to make a game where the protagonist wrote on a majestic bird as in many mythological stories, and settled on an ostrich because he felt it was most believable. However, even before Nausicaa and Joust, there was the 1977 animated film called Wizards, directed and produced by Ralph Baski. The bird lizards the characters ride greatly resembled the Chocobo as originally designed by Yoshitaka Amano for Final Fantasy II's concept art. It could be a coincidence, but it probably isn't given that Amano is a big fan of western pop art, and Wizards was very popular worldwide. I think it's very possible Amano was influenced by the film. Now historically, there was a large chocobo-like bird, which modern scientists have dubbed the Gastornis. It's named after Gaston Planty, who discovered the first fossils in 1855. This bird went extinct about 45 million years ago, and is cited by Miyazaki as an inspiration behind the horse claws he drew in Nausicaa of the Valley of the Winds. Hey now, you're forgetting another possible source. What are you talking about? That's pretty much all the information that we have about the, the source material for Chocobos. Big Bird from Sesame Street. Big Bird was created in 1969 and designed by Jim Henson. Jim Henson had long wanted to design a large bird muppet, and when he was brought on board to work on Sesame Street, he decided to create Big Bird as a childlike character which children at home could relate to. Big Bird was not an inspiration for the Chocobos. I'm sorry. That's just silly. Another possible source is Snuffleupagus. Notice the strong resemblance between these two characters. He looks just like a Chocobo. Snuffleupagus was not a source material either. It was made like, what, 1985 when that was made? But Final Fantasy II was made in 1986, meaning it could be plausible. I don't think so. It could be.
Hey, kiddies, it's me, the Student Zor, co-host of the RPG Fanatics show, and all of this other stuff on this channel. Anyway, why don't you take a look at some of these other videos done by the RPG Fanatic, Kerry Martell himself. How about it? Also, like and subscribe to our channel for great justice!